All right, what is up guys? My name is Brian and I work with an artist named Kluffy. Yeah, <laughs> second video. Um, I just want to start off with, I did read all the comments and I am so grateful to every single one of you that left a comment and watched the video. I was just talking to some of my friends about it and it really is something special that we have, this community. You guys are just so wholesome, so nice and really encouraging with your comments. I mean, some of you guys are writing a paragraph pretty much. Yeah, so I do appreciate every single one of those comments. I know I didn't get to reply to all of them, but I promise you that I did read them all. And also there was one comment, especially, that really stood out to me. It was a comment about something like, he pretty much like described every single one of my albums, like Blue Fantasy, Ocean of Dory. It's like making it sound way better than I ever thought it was. But then he proposed the idea of making a new album, combining my older style, which is, you know, more melodic, more bass, you know, like synthy, spacey, and kind of like combining it with all my newer style that I've been putting out. So something like Last Green or Downtime, right? So I do honestly love the idea. And I have been thinking about actually doing something similar to that for a while. Not this video, because this video has something a little different for you guys that, you know, I just want to put out there. But starting next video, I think, I will try to start working on that album and share the process with you guys. For this video, what I want to do is I have a song that I've been working on for a while. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw a little peek of it during the on my Instagram story. I do want to put it out because I've been sitting on it and I really love how it sounds. So I want to put it out uh, by the end of March. So one month from now, pretty much. And today, what we're going to do is I'm just going to pretty much go through how I came up with the idea in the first place, and then what elements are in there, how I put it together, and hopefully get you guys excited to hear the whole thing. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so here's the whole project. I'm going to play a little preview for you guys, just for the people who haven't heard on the story yet. Alright, so that's the preview. Now let's go through the elements. So how I came up with this idea in the first place was this sample right here. And I'm gonna turn all the effects off so that you guys can actually know what the original sample sounded like. Here we go. So yeah, I heard that and I don't know why I just liked it so much. Like I was going through Splice and it really stood out to me. Now, it does sound a little harsh, especially like the higher synth where it's like, do, 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 do. Yeah, that part sounded a little harsh. So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. So I went on Splice again and I looked for samples in the E minor, so the same key, and I found these vocals. You know, it just sounds amazing, right? But it's a vocal chop. So I went in the sample pack and then I found the whole shebang, right? So you got the hook, which is... Looking for a lifeline. So you got the hook, you got the vocal chops, but then I started thinking, this could be like, kind of like a Kina song. Um, I think that's how you say it, Kina, right? You know, the one who made all the bangers, started out the whole like sad boy low five vibe kind of stuff with Can We Kiss Forever, Get You The Moon, all that stuff. So I was thinking maybe I could do something like that, especially like the song Can We Kiss Forever, where it's like very calm in the beginning. And then you have the iconic drop with the double vac vocal. So it's like a higher one and then like the original one, which is what I try to go for here, if you guys heard earlier. So anyway, I tried to flesh it out a bit more. So I added this piano. And then for the part after that, I pretty much, it's the exact same chords, but all I did was raise up, the, raise up the velocity of the top note. So it hits a little harder so you can hear the melody more clearly. And this one sounds like this. Yeah. 
yeah and then i this is actually kind of like um there's a song by vic molina i think that's her name she has a song and then this is kind of like that where it's like a falling arpeggio kind of vibe So if you play that with the piano together, it sounds like this. So very pretty, right? And very ambient. Pretty much what I was going for for like the beginning part because you have the hook and then you got a little introduction. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys what I ended up using with that bass. What I did was, let me turn the effects back on. I mentioned that the synths, the higher ones were really harsh. So I first added an EQ. So now the synth sounds like this. I threw on a Neutron, I think it's like the dark bass preset, so it's a little more darker and warmer, and now it sounds like this. So at this point, I'm not really using the sample for the sample, I'm kind of just using it more as like a re-space, I think that's what those are called. But yeah, because what I end up doing is I have an actual bass that I add in. Um, it's the 808 Clean, it's in the Flex plugin that comes with FL Studio, so that one sounds like this. Yeah, nothing special, just a clean bass, something on the lower register, so that because I do feel like this one isn't impactful enough for what I was going for, because I really wanted the um, bass to hit really hard. Um, I think that's how Kina does it too. So I was trying to do that. So I was added in another bass. So then uh, pretty much what happened I covered. I did the pianos, I did the bass, kick. Oh, so the kick is just following the kick pattern of the drum loop that I already have. So the drum loop, this I have two. So this is the initial one that comes in. So if you see the original BPM for this sample is 115 and my song BPM is 105. So I actually stretched it out and I didn't pitch correct it because when you stretch out a drum loop, um, you know, you get these like kind of like, I don't know, it just sounds a little rougher, a little more vintage. I don't know if that's the right word, but there was something about it that made me like it and leave it in there. So I'm gonna leave it like that. But anyway, so for the first part of the drop, which is this part. You got that drum loop, but then for the second part, I added in um, a hi-hat loop. And this one goes like this. You know, nothing crazy. Yeah, and then what else do I have? Oh wow, what else do I have? I have risers, fallers, it's just a riser reversed. I have this vocal, oh, this vocal thing. So I have, it's like a vocal pad almost. It sounds like this. And this is pretty important because for the first part of the drop, you got the chops. But then I take away the vocal chops and I add in the vocal pad. So yeah, um, I think that's oh the pad. Uh, I chopped this up to only use the part that I liked. The original part is like I think really long, so. 
It's just like an ambient soundscape pad. So yeah, that pretty much covers it. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So like I mentioned, um, I do admit, like I, I'm definitely like telling you guys right now, I am going for that Kina vibe, sad boy, alternative, lo-fi, whatever vibe that I am going for that. So if you guys are like, huh, that sounds familiar, that's a good thing. That means I did something right. Yeah, I've been wanting to make this kind of song like for a long time, ever since I started making lo-fi pretty much because when I started lo-fi around 2020, like Shiloh and all that stuff was just like popping off. So I've been wanting to make it for a while, didn't really know what to do or how to do it. And then somehow one thing led to another, I found a way of samples and then just led to this pretty much. So yeah. Like I said, it's gonna drop sometime late March, pretty much like the end of March. Oh, also, I do wanna promote this song. Like, not like pay people to do it, but I have a TikTok. But yeah, I have a TikTok. Um, I just haven't posted anything there, like my Instagram. But I am gonna try to promote this on those two platforms. Um, maybe I'll make shorts or clips or something, trying to like use the clip somewhere. But yeah, if you guys are excited for this, Go share it with your friends, um, build the hype up because I feel like this is something that I am really proud of having worked on. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, bye.